Hello viewers, it's us again. Welcome to QuickBooks 2016. We are working through module two, where we are we have been talking about how to get your company file started. This is video number six, where I want to show you how to convert your QuickBooks desktop file company file into an online version so when you are ready to export your quickbooks desktop file to an online format head over up to here to the menu to the menu bar this is the menu bar. We say this is the icon bar. So we head over to the menu and then we click on file. When I click on file there, then it takes me to, it brings me, it, it brings for me options. So on those options, I'm going to point, make sure that you point to utilities from we we said from the file choose out utilities and when you point to utilities then you you'll be getting that sub menu that you are seeing there you will select an option that says copy company file for quickbooks online so we look at that that says copy company file for quickbooks online there is QuickBooks for Mac. Those people who are using MacBook, you can cop you can copy this file that we are we are in here. You copy into your MacBook computer. That's the option. But for us, we are going for converting that to QuickBooks Online. We can click there. But now When you have clicked on that option, then QuickBooks, what, what QuickBooks is going to do is going to close all the windows that we are seeing up here. The windows that we've opened, it will close them and it will actually export your, your company file. And that's the only choice that we have. Because even here it says, before exporting your company file, QuickBooks must close all open windows. In other words, the windows they are talking about, this home win, this home page will be closed. If at all we had opened anything, if at all we had clicked maybe in customers or in vendors, it will close all of them. But right now I don't want to do that. Anyway, you can click OK. It has closed it. That's why we are seeing it has closed everything. You've seen now, it has closed everything, even the home thing, the home page is not, we are not seeing it. So what we are going to do now is we have to 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 get where we are supposed to, to save our our file. I always prefer to save them to the desktop because when you desk when you save them to the desktop you can be able to 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 to, to see it when you are when when you have when you have finished setting up your online your online your subscriptions because now once you save it when you go to the quickbooks online you will have to upload to pick that document from where you saved it and you upload in, in that QuickBooks online so that you can be able to get all the, the the data that we have. But for me, I'm not going to save because I don't want to have that. I'm not going to be using QuickBooks online, so I can cancel. But if you if you if you are if you are supposed to do, we'll just go and check on that. So I can bring back our home. You've seen I've clicked the icon bar that says home, then my home screen has, 
has come back now. That's the only thing that was open. Other, uh, otherwise, if we had opened so many windows here, all of them would be closed first before it converts. Because you can't convert when the file is in use. You have to first close all, then you, you export. So after it has successfully exported that, that company file, and it, you have saved you have saved that that file. Then you can go ahead and set up your QuickBooks Online account. Of course, you have to clear subscriptions and all that. You pay the money and you get your account set up. Then you can now go ahead and upload that file that you've saved on, on your desktop, and you have that data that is ready to use. So that is the quick overview of how to convert your QuickBooks desktop file to an online format. So now we have actually finished that module two, that module number two or section two of our tutorials we have exhausted it. Those are now two modules that are done. So we are going to be going to module three because that module two was all about We've been talking about how to get started with the QuickBooks company file. So let's go ahead over to now to module three, where we are going to talk about customizing QuickBooks preferences for our company file so that it works best for, for our business. We need to see what are some of the things that we can set up that are actually going to help us have the best when we are handling the business transaction. Because we haven't started putting in anything, but we are setting everything so that we can be ready and we have everything that we need. The company is set up well. We have already set up our company as KC Group, but now we want to look at the other preferences that we can set up that will help us. Because if you don't set up those preferences, then there are some things that are going to be coming in that will disorganize you. It is just like if, if you have just installed the any software, what you have to first do is to make sure that at least you check to confirm whether all the options that you need to use in that option, they are all working. If we do that and everything is okay, then we can start transacting. So that's what we are going to see in module three so let's stop here the video and we will see you there in our module three thank you for watching